Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and rotation is gonna be coming sooner than later where the oldest three expansions, so the ones from 2022, will all be rotating to wild. And when that happens, the devs like to go through cards that have been nerfed like a Glacial Advance and see, maybe we'll put it back to its original version and let players go crazy with it in wild. So we're gonna go through every card that has been nerfed from Voyage of the Sunken City, Murderer Castle, Nathria, Martial Lich King, and the part that Path of Arth is like mini set, whatever you wanna call it for Death Knight. Which of these cards should or should not get reverted? And I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Which ones do you agree with, disagree with? And, and this is my opinion, throwing it out there and we'll see what ends up happening when rotation probably happens. I'm guessing around March 11th, the one or 10 year anniversary of Hearthstone. If you enjoyed the content on the channel, if you like it, earn your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like, it helps us out a lot. So not a lot of Death Knight cards to go over. Most of the ones that have been nerfed or changed are from like the core set or uh, from more recent expansions. Uh, but Glacial Advance, this is part of the Path of Arthas. Basically this used to discount two. It would deal the four and discount two. Uh, they nerfed it to one. I feel like that was more of a standard change. Actually, duels changed too. It was pretty nuts in duels. Oh yeah, they're deleting that, so that won't matter either. And um, I had standard Frosty K was never a big, big player. And I feel like giving it more mana cheat probably wouldn't be the biggest deal. So it's one that I would feel fine reverting back to its original version. Big Thing started off as a three mana three, three, got buffed to a three, four, and then nerfed to a four mana three, four. Ironically, it's more of a buff for Stan or Wild because you can play even Death Knight. I feel like it'd be totally fine to revert it to three, but you're almost hurting the even deck. So be interesting one. I think it goes back to being a three mana three, four, or it could go back to three mana three, three. I don't think it's going to be a major player either way but uh, it would be funny just to leave it at four to leave it as an even card and construct quarter kind of the same deal got nerfed uh from three to four mana i believe the durability got hit if i remember correctly this card got nerfed twice it was insane and standard never that much in a while it was good it's fine again a card i would have no problem reverting for the format and that's it for death light every other card that's been nerfed is from more recent sets or the core set which we're just going to assume is sticking around although the core set does change every single year uh, for demon hunter unleash fell used to have mana thirst four i feel like this card's good enough as is but doesn't see a lot of play in wild although ilganoth can make that a reality pretty easily i'd probably leave it as is mana thirst six it's a pretty darn crazy good card i i was actually surprised it didn't get nerfed a second time at some points obviously demon hunter's fallen off since uh but yeah a card that i would probably leave as is a lot of the demon hunter cards i honestly would leave as is because they're just would create more toxic gameplay if they're good in wild. One being multi-strike used to be one mana. Uh, now it's two. This one's probably more in line to be a card that gets buffed, but I don't know, does it bring odd, odd Demon Hunter back where you can play that for one and with your hero power, that is a lot of damage. Might be one, I'd be more wary reverting. Probably play it on the safer side. Same with Predation, used to be three mana deal three, but it could cost zero. Again, the more zero mana burn, in any format, it doesn't matter, can become really degenerate. So again, I would probably leave it as is. And the same, I will say, absolutely has to go uh, for Sinful Brand, another card that could just be super problematic. I think it started at one mana, deal two damage to the hero. I, I don't remember 100%. I know I got nerfed at least once, and uh, it's a card I don't think you want to be good. I don't think you want to be a meta player in any format. So again, I would leave it. The Demon Hunter mains are gonna hate me, but I mean, just, I couldn't stand the design of these cards. And again, Lady Athena was another card that with two attack seems really scary in a format where you have the quest line, can get a bunch of zero mana cards and just murder your opponent, in particular with Sharpshooter, right? Like, I don't think you want to revert this either. It's another card I would leave as is. But there is one nerf Demon Hunter card I absolutely would change. It's Relic Dimensions. It used to be five mana, got nerfed to six. Never a wild player, much too slow there, but you know, you could have some fun with it, maybe do some big mana cheat things. The relics are just so like slow for the format. It's too slow in standard now. So you can imagine wild, this could pro this very well could be safely put to five. Druid used to have rake at one mana. I would absolutely not revert this one. Questline Druid still 
pretty top tier deck in wild this card's just insane at one like at two it's still good it still sees play in wild as is so i definitely would leave this one as is at two it's such a powerful card death blossom Wamper started at six went to five got nerfed back to six there's still thoughtiest stuff going on around but in wild way too slow a thing to be like oppressive you could put this back to five no problem for that format anubricon's another one of those cards that got nerfed like multiple times where it started where you would gain eight armor and then you could just play as many minions as you want as long as you had armor it was just broken right then it was the next three minions and then went down to five armor i would leave it as is wild has enough mass mana cheat druids got so much ramp off biology project aviana just got you know reverted to nine i really don't think you want to add another crazy mana cheat generator to a class that's doing really well in the format so again anubricon i would just leave as is miracle growth went from eight or seven to eight mana and it's one where i feel like in wild the only time i ever see this card really see play is when it's zero with like alignment in anaconda so i don't know how relevant it would be but to put it back to seven it, with uh you know guff into growth probably still a little too good another one i would probably leave at eight i would see package will all be rotating and it's gonna be interesting to see what they do like every single card got nerfed this was a three one that was a two five this was a five four that gave a four two weapon what are you gonna do with it you could fully revert it probably like i don't think it would be that big a deal be a nice buff for beast hunter just reno hunter they're really cool cards i don't know if you just go like middle of the road and don't buff the weapon one again we'll see what they do but i feel like there's no way they could leave it as is at least make this a three one a two five and maybe you can make this a five four i don't know i feel like it could do undo the whole darn thing and it would probably be okay harpoon gun started like this got buffed to reduce its cost by three and then uh nerfed again it still sees play in wild in the b center decks i don't think you need to revert this one like you're trying to hit like tundra rhinos and a lot of the charge stuff it's still a relatively competitive deck in wild i probably would leave it as is alderan started off only buffing the spells in your deck and then it went everywhere and then it got nerfed to four mana i feel like you just go back to the middle version the three mana three four buff everything because arcane hunter never a thing in wild and you might as well let people relive the uh, glory days of when arcane hunter was at its most busted shock spitter is a card you absolutely do not want to revert you want to leave it exactly as is because it was ridiculous and wild at two mana remember this was two it went to three i just i would not touch this i would leave it alone because that amount of damage just is crazy plus a brand bronze beard is in wild so you yeah, don't want to forget about that either of kelphalos lost an attack for two you could revert this one really slow for the format and uh i think a lot of people would just like to have it back and faithful companions instead of summoning a beast from your hand it used to summon both from your deck and do some broken stuff again in wild really slow you could fully revert this card without any real doubts oh mage just got arcane worm nerfed to a one one it's gonna be leaving and it can go back to a one two it really does not matter for wild when the mage quest dictates everything anyways the mage location if it rotates i'm curious what the locations are going to be like because most classes don't have one after rotation uh this used to have three uh durability it'd be a really nice help for uh like reno decks i think it would be a nice thing to revert and was never problematic or a big deal in wild anyways solid alibi a pretty darn toxic mage card still sees meta very relevant meta play in wild at three please don't revert this to two it, it, it needs to say at least at three spite last siren went to four to five back to four back to five like it's been all over the place never that big and wild but again i probably leave it as is because we just don't want more mass mana cheat and you never know what could come up in the future that could break this yet again even at five it could happen too so i would probably leave it alone even if it's not going to have an immediate impact paladin feast and famine was at one mana for a bit and then went to two mana when they got that wind fury weapon and probably fine to put back to one in wild never that big a strategy to go with that in wild and again if you're doing that it's pretty slow so i think at one it's probably safe order in the court got nerfed recently right where it doesn't draw you a card anymore if they reverted it it'd be almost a nerf because the whole holy wrath thing is taken off so be really interesting to see what they would do with this 
I feel like the Holy Wrath enjoyers would be annoyed. It's probably better for like just straight up control Reno where you get to your hero card and all that stuff. I'm more of reverting it. So the Holy Wrath stuff isn't quite as degenerate, honestly. And I can play my more controlly style deck, but we'll see. I'm curious which decision they'll make on this one. The Purator got nerfed from five to six mana. I don't see any issue with it going back to five. Plus there's just a lot more fun stuff to do with Pure Paladin and Wild. And I think that'd be a nice little tool for people to have. Same goes for Light Ray. It used to be nine mana, it got bumped to 10. You could easily revert this for the format. Reese's Valsh was uh, zero mana, and um, I'd keep it at one where Radiant Elemental and all sorts of shenanigans exist in the format. Don't like reverting mana cheat. I just feel like Wild's got enough of that as is, unless it's more on the lighter end of things, right? Switcheroo is an interesting one because it got nerfed from draw two minions, swap their health and attack to swap their health and also got banned from Wild. This card needs a rework, right? Like basically the boar and uh, the darkness will always be an issue with it so we'll have to see what they do but this card will get reworked it will not go back to what it was and i also have no idea what they'll do with it to make sure it's not a problem but i guess we'll have to wait and see high cultus basilef got buffed to four mana got then nerfed to five mana i feel in wild at four perfectly reasonable i think the aggro priests are so aggressive they'll never bother with this anyways so I think this one's safe to revert. This rogue location's been through some stuff, went from, it started at two mana, you had a stealth ghost and it went to three. And then after that, it lost its stealth. I feel like leave this as is the miracle package in wild is ridiculous. And I feel like you don't want to add to that at all. Like it's already tier one, pretty broken stuff. Add the giants and the Lothebs to giant stealth minions for two mana. I just don't want to live in that world. I'll say the same thing for Necrolord Draka. It used to be four mana. I feel like leave it as is at five. The Miracle Package is so good there. Like this could easily put it even more over the top where that's arguably a problematic deck as is. I just feel like I don't want to be dying to like a Drock on turns two and three. The way things work with Rogue, it's pretty darn absurd. Scribbling Stenographer started at six mana, one seven. I did mention the Miracle stuff being insane, but I don't think this going to six would put it super over the top and it's a mini you can interact with. It's another zero mana card for them to play around with, but I think that's perfectly fine. I know this card never got nerfed, but how about we just buff it to one mana, you know? So even Shaman can't use it. I Luminescence went from three to four mana and where again, there's a lot more mana cheap possibilities. Spear the Frog did get pretty harshly changed. I still would leave Bio at four. I think it's fine as is. Vile Library used to give it a, a no matter what, a plus one, plus one. So it was even more stats in Porlock. Not a big thing in Wild, although there are a lot more imp possibilities there. Could be pretty cracked at its original version, but eh, give it a shot. We'll see what happens and then I'll complain about it later. Um, Tampering is another card. Never got nerfed, but it got banned from the for format basically due to its interaction with Malkazar's Imp. And the card absolutely um, will need to be nerfed or reworked in some way. Maybe they make it like five mana. Uh, Malkazar's Imp is just always been the problem with the card, to be honest. I'd rather see that card get adjusted, but I can't see that happening. So yeah, you'd have to make it very expensive or rework the card in some way. Um, maybe you shuffle multiple, like two cost cards or something, three cost cards, I don't know but it cannot stay at its current state whatsoever as I still think it'd be a huge problem in wild as is. Warrior only has one card, one card that got nerfed that needs to be reverted or not. Nelly, which got nerfed and buffed, but originally the pirates would cost one that you would discover. And um, I guess you could revert it. Pirate warrior is not really a thing. And this would be really slow for that. So yeah, the one warrior card, that's how bad warriors bid. Uh, yeah, you could revert it. I think it would be fine. Puffer Fist actually used to be a three, four. And with all the pirate decks already pretty good, I would probably leave this one alone. School teacher initially was a five, four. I think that's totally fine. This card sees pretty much no play in wild. The pool of spells are just so unreliable. I think a five, four would absolutely be okay. Smothering starfish at three, definitely fine for wild where honestly, you might want that more mass silence available. Prince Renathal. I mean, come on, revert it. 40-40, Wild needs it. And also put it in the core set, keep it in standard. I honestly think this should be in standard. It's such a cool card. The only issue is if they keep it in standard, they won't revert that part. So I don't know. Obviously I want it, uh, the full package back. If I'm gonna be greedy, I'll just keep it to four. Your deck size is 40, your starting health is 40 and keeping it as a wild card. 
but Stanner will just feel weird without it. Theotar can stay at six, maybe make him eight. That would be better. Kael'thas probably needs to stay at eight, not be at six with like Bran and all that. That was just, that was not a good time. And Denathrius was basically as cracked in WoW as he was in Standard. I would leave him as is, especially with Druid and like Scales and Flipper friends and let's just not go down that road. And the Jailer probably could get reverted, but I don't know. It's one that just got nerfed and the only real problem it's got in WoW is like, you know, both and Malganus, but that's a pretty kind of cool thing. I'm on the fence about it. If they leave it, I get it, but maybe they could revert it. I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Astalor saw like, you know, it's like the most popular card in Standard. It's very popular in WoW, particularly Druid can just OTK with Aviana brand and before it had easier mana thirst requirements it's final form the Flamebringer uh, did even more damage it's just a card that does not need to be power leveled up at all it'll still see plenty of play in wild I would not revert this one whatsoever and lastly Thaddeus might be getting nerfed again soon and you don't want to revert the whole thing where your odd and even cost cards cost one it just leads to problems. So we'll see what happens with them. But yeah, that's all the cards, at least that I noticed. There's probably some I missed. You can let me know in the comments down below. And again, let me know what you agree with, disagree with. But overall, it'll be really interesting to see what happens, especially with like Switcheroo, Tome Tampering, and Prince Renathal. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friend.